Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to an episode of Electrician Simulator on the Xbox Series X. It's been a while uh, since we've dove into this. So without further ado, let's see what shocking jobs uh, we can come up with today. Gotta get worse. <laughs> Right, here we are in our uh, laptop's main screen. We've got a list of jobs here. There's some seasonal jobs which we ain't going to bother with because they're Halloween and Christmas sort of orientated. But, hang on a minute, me, me, me curse is going everywhere. Right, so we've got a soccer problem. Hi there, listen, the World Cup has just started. No, it hasn't, mate. And this reminds me, when I was a kid, I used to play something that resembled soccer on an old console. And you know what? I found that same console in my father's house. And now I would like to show that game to my son. I don't think he'll be impressed, mate. Let the young one educate himself and see the video games from the good old days. I just need your help with one little thing. When I connect the console to the TV, it doesn't work. Please fix it and help us with our soccer problem. Right, so it says problems, switch jams, and the console signal is out. Uh, so, right, we're going to accept that. There we go, we've accepted it. So, if we go over to our work desk, we should have a games console waiting for us. So, we zoom in and we can have a look at the console as such. We can zoom in and have a look around it. It's for the play box. Manufacturer, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take the back off, I think. Right, so, uh, let's uh, take that screw out. We'll have to zoom out a touch to get to this one i think there we go this one looks like it's got a little bit of rust on it and for some reason it's not showing me uh, that screw very well down there is it that's that's been a bit problematic right so let's no zoom out good lord right do you know i've just practiced our job on this and then uh, there we go why is it gone like that now i need a screwdriver there we go right jobs are good and uh, that one as well and this one looks like it might be rusty. And we'll put a bit of spray on there like so. There we go. Well, can we take that bottom case off now? So there we go. We're left with this. Right, so let's just have a mooch round the back. So that's obviously where the signal goes in there. Which is awesome. Right. Tricky little thing this, isn't it? So what we've got to do now is try and figure out how to get all these other bits and bobs off there. Right, so let's have a look at this here. It's very problematic with the way um, this is how big the actual thing is, and you can't really get very close. Now, have we got any screws down there? Something's holding this in. So the bottom case, as you can see there, bottom left, the bottom case is good. There's nothing wrong with the bottom case. We've got a wire that goes to there. Where does that go to? There. Okay. Let's zoom out a touch. There we go. So that goes in there like so. I'm just trying to figure out now how we can get this uh, all disconnected and away from the actual console itself. The You know, the plastic casing. Hmm. Right, so we've took the cartridge out, which is a good start. Now we can take the case off. There we go. Jobs are good. Right, so what we need to do, we're going to get our tester out, and we're going to check these ports. So we can't get a signal, so can we check this? Can we check it? Is it going to allow us to check it? Scum round there like so. Now it's gonna let us check that. We could take that off. Maybe we can't. Right, so now can we check it? You have to do certain things before you can start doing other things, so to speak. Right, here we go. Right. So I've got that back out again now. So the circuit board, we don't know all these other so the signal uh, was good, so it's not that. You see, I presumed it would be something to do with this. Can we test that? Yes, so 
It didn't tell me then, did it? What, what did that say? So the power socket is good. Um, the cartridge socket is good. Microprocessor is good. That's good. Oh. The microprocessor there is actually broken. Okay, so we're going to need to get rid of that, aren't we? Um, let's have a look at this lever. That's broken as well. And that diode is broken as well. That's broken as well. Good lord, does anything actually work on this? Well, let's keep going. But that signal socket's broken as well. The RF modulator's good. That microprocessor is good. That's good. We've checked all that. That's good. Oh, we've got a broken capacitor as well. That capacitor's good. That capacitor's good. That capacitor's good. That capacitor's good. And that one is good. That controller socket's good. And that controller socket's good. So I think out of all them now, what we need to do is uh, run through all these things and replace them. So the printed cir circuit board we need to replace, so we'll replace that for uh, $80. Uh, the cartridge socket cover, let's inspect that. Uh, so that's good, so that can go back in. Uh, the middle frame, let's inspect that. That's good, so that can go back in. Uh, right, so it's the circuit board we need to work on, isn't it? So I, I'm a little bit confused now, guys, because we checked all this. Right, so it said the lever. This must be a brand new circuit board then that I've just ordered and I've not realised. Shall we try putting it back together? And... Uh, see how it goes because it seems now everything in there is all good it does so let's return let's go to assembly so circuit board good let's put the bottom casing back on like so um and then we need to put the cartridge socket cover on uh, the middle frame like that zoom out a second just make sure we've got everything spot on here yep that's looking good uh so now we need to pop on the upper case i think i'm just trying to figure out where i can put that upper case on there's something that i'm forgetting though it's not letting me put the upper case on at the moment so let's press I'm pressing up for a tip, and I can't see where the... T ah, ha, ha, yes. The signal plug. Now we can put that on there. Put that in. And then we can start putting the screws in. Now, fingers crossed. This fixes it. Test is in progress. Status is good. Let's ship that off. There we go. All sorted. Nighty. Yeah, to be honest, it cost me more than I made on it. That's ridiculous. Right, let's go see what else we've got. Um, over here. Uh, cart here. Hair dryer. Uh, I dry my hair like most people. Sometimes I do it in the bath. What? Dry, of course. Uh, with no water in it. And sometimes I happen to dry, 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 dry hair. I just enjoy sitting in the bath and warming my hair up with hot air. You odd man. But I don't think my dryer enjoys it as much as I do. After a few months, the fan stopped rotating and it stopped, started smoking instead. Help, I'm freezing. So, problems are, the fan isn't turning, there's smoke everywhere, and it's cold. Alright, so let's accept this one. Let's go and have a mooch at this hair dryer. Let's go see what the crack is with this. Well, let's see where we can uh, start. Uh, so that's rusty, so let's get this open. And uh, see if we can fix it. That one's rusty as well. Let's spray that. There we go. Jobs are good. And any other screws that we can see that's going to help us 
Yes, there's some here, isn't there? There we are. That one's rusty as well. Let's get that one out. And that one's rusty as well, funnily enough. And let's get that one out. Right, so that is that done. So all these items here, uh, that what looks like a battery. Seems like it's in good nick. I think. That's good. Apparently the fan is good. Let's take that away. I reckon it'll be the the motor, the fan motor frame is good. I reckon it'll be the motor that's absolutely cream crackage, you know. Let's unplug that from there. Battery circuit plug. Well, so we'll get shut of that. Fan motor, status unknown. Well, here we go. Let's give that an inspection in a minute. Um, this looks like it's a little bit rusted up. Well, let's see if we can... Uh, get rid of that. There we go. So that's that done. Um, blimey, there's a lot to uh, unpack here, isn't there, guys? I'll take that grill off. Now, can we get rid of any more of this? I mean, that's a heating element in there, isn't it? Let's just undo all this. To see if we can get rid of try some of this and uh, that's rusted up so we need to spray that let's get rid of that now that can come out that can come out right let's test the battery we'll test that shortly now can we get deep and dirty in here let's get rid of that on there we you know that that looks looking a little bit rusty so we'll give that a spray get that off there and that off there and the he heater frame uh, right so what we need to do now guys is uh we need to go and check uh, the battery so let's inspect the battery uh, let's check it with that so the hairdryer battery is broken so what we need to do there is we need to replace that so yes that's going to cost ten dollars uh, the printed circuit board, let's inspect that. I think we do that with this. That's good. Oh, that's broken. Uh, so that needs um, replacing. Let's replace that as well. That's $40. You might as well have bought a brand new hairdryer at this rate, mate. Uh, the fan motor is good. The heater frame, let's inspect that. That's broken as well. So this is goosed. There's no way I can fix that. If it's knackered, it's knackered, isn't it? Um, so let's replace that. It's another $9. Right, so I think now uh, we can start assembling this back together. I reckon. So let's pop that in there. Oh, this is the, the tricky bit. I mean, the game pretty much holds your hand all the way through. This is just a matter now of trying to remember where everything goes. I need a screwdriver. And let's uh, screw that circuit board back in. Put them back on. Like so. Put the brand new heater frame in. We'll screw that back on. And we'll screw that back on. Like so. Right, I'm struggling a bit here now. Motor plug on board. So we'll plug that back in. Right, what else have we got here now? Fan motor, grill. We put the grill back on. Yeah, so there's the grill back on. Fingers crossed this works after we've uh, put it all back together, eh, guys? Because otherwise we're going to look a little bit stupid, aren't we? Uh, let's have a zoom in here, just so I can let the dog see the rabbit. There we go. Beautiful. We can put that back in. Like so. Tricky job, this. It is very addictive, this is, though. Uh, figuring out where everything goes. And how to fix certain things. I mean, I, I wouldn't mess around with electrics if my life depended on it i just it's not something i mess around with 
at all. Mind you, I did once successfully uh, fit a brand new light fitting, a very posh light fitting, uh, and it was completely it had to be wired up completely different in the kitchen, and I was dead proud uh, that I managed to fix it and get it sorted. Right, let's test the device. Oh yes, that's another item fixed. Hey, right. I got paid for. See, I'm at a loss here, constantly at a loss. I'm fixing stuff. But I'm getting the XP. I leveled up there, you see. I leveled up. Let's go over to our uh, PC again. So where we level up, I don't entirely know. I'm not entirely clued up on that. Get four certificates to access the advertisement service. I have got a certificate to do, but we're not going to do that today in today's video. So we are, uh, there it is. Electrical school. VR electrician certificate number three wires. So what's this one? Is this like a hearing aid or something? The right headphone isn't working, I think. Or maybe the left headphone doesn't work. Let's accept this one. Let's go for uh, <coughs> a gentleman called Can't Hear. Alright, so these headphones are buggered, apparently. So let's figure out how we uh, detach them and disconnect them. Let's take that off there. There we go, you see. And that off there. Right. So these are a little bit on the rusty side. So first of all, we'll get these nicely lubed up. Just so we can uh, disconnect them. Yeah, that one's a bit rusty as well. So let's get our screwdriver in action. That one there as well. Blended stuff. Right. And we can take these covers off so status off the speaker we're just gonna disconnect it all and then what i want to do is have a look at the speaker well, let's have a look at this so that is apparently broken it is so can we so we can't fix these things i'm just constantly at a loss here because i just have to replace all these parts so let's uh, inspect this one that one's bloody broken as well so uh, let's replace that one as well now do we risk just putting the speakers back in and seeing if it works or do we check all these other bits and bobs out you see so that's good to go that's good to go all these solders are good Oh, that's good. I really want to uh, to rotate it to a point so I can zoom in. Oh no, not quite how I wanted it. I've just figured out how to do that. <laughs> uh, let's go up, up. Oh, it's still not letting me have a proper look at that, is it? All these seem to be in uh, top-notch condition. Do you know what? I mean, that is a little bit rusty. Right. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put it all back together. I am. And we're going to give it a test. If it don't work, it don't work. Uh, there's not a lot we can do, is there? Screw that in there. Screw that in there. I'll put the phone back on there. And then we are going to put all this back together like so. Pop a screw in there. going to let me. Come on. Screw in. There we go. And one in there for you, young man. And then one in there for you. Put the phone on. Test. Oh, no. Something's broken still. Oh no! Right, let me disconnect all. Let me get sort all this out. Flippy neck. Right, we're going to have to uh, undo it all again. Right, so I've got the battery out, which is good. That solder's good, that solder's good. What concerns me is possibly those switches. Uh, there, you see. 
And let me try and spin this around to a point where I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So is it any of these? Are these okay? Well, there we are. I'm going to mean we. The actual... I tell you, this is a nightmare at times. Right, here we go. Speaker. So the solder for that is good. That's good. That's good. And that's good. What is broken here? And do you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to take it off. And then I'm going to check the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to check it all over. You do a job, you got to do it properly, aren't you, I suppose? So what we're going to have to do is... Disconnect all this with a solder. The circuit board, the status is unknown, you see. So we're going to get rid of that like that. And then we're going to have a look at this circuit board. So let's inspect it. The printed circuit board is good. There's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely fine. So that's as what we can take from there, that everything on this side is hunky-dory. So this could be a problem over here on this side. So we're going to disconnect all this. The status of this circuit board. The speaker case is all good. Um, so what we need to do now is go to that printed circuit board and inspect that. And that circuit board is good. So what the hell is going on? Right, well, I'll tell you what, let's go to assembly. Good Lord. And uh, let's try putting all this back together, shall we? We've got a bit of soldering to do first. Thing is, we've got to... So all this is good. Everything is good now within the headphones. So all we're doing... Is putting it back together and hoping and praying that it actually works. We can't test this. We tested the battery, didn't we? And let's put that metal plate on it. Were we, were we allowed to test this power? I don't think we were, were we? But that solders onto there, so let's just see and see what happens, eh? This is the only thing we can do. If this doesn't work, I, I'm I'm at a loss. You want to buy this upgrade? Well, whatever I've done, I've just bought something. I don't know what I've just bought, but I've bought it. Oh, some tweezers I've just bought. Right, uh, so the battery's good. The circuit board's good. And then we're going to solder these on. Good. And then we're going to put... That metal plate on, we're going to put the speaker on, put the case on, and then we're going to screw it all back in. And fingers crossed, it works. Broken? How can it be broken? I've just fixed everything. Oh, gold Bennett. What am I missing? Right, I'm going to strip it down again, um, and I'll bring you guys back in once I've uh, figured it out. Right, so I've stripped it down again, and as you can see there, there's a microphone and the status of it is unknown. That I think that is going to be the problem. It's the only thing I can think of it being. Uh, so let's take that out, and let's test that microphone. Let's inspect it. Broken. So there you go, you see. Well, let's replace that uh, microphone. There we go. So that's that done. We can put the microphone back. I think we'll be good to go. Now, that's the only thing I can think of that would possibly be. Because these connections just go from one board to the other. It's the way, you know, the sound flows through. I reckon that's it. That's got to be it now. It has to be it. It really does have to be it. 
Right, so let's assemble it up again. Right, here we go. This has to be the way forward. If this doesn't work, uh, we're turning it off and never playing this game ever again. Right, here we go. So where's the microphone? There it is. Let's get me solder out. Figure out where these wires go now. Where's it supposed to go? There we go. That one and that one. And then um, the metal plate should go on. And the speaker. Then the cover. Some screws. Like so. That. That. Test device. Yeah, baby. We got there in the end. $80. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, the jobs do get a little bit more complex. We've got a truck here, uh, and we can go out in the truck. You don't get to drive the truck, uh, but you get bigger jobs. Let's just see. Uh, can't beat the eggs. My mixer is broken. Um, world's worst diet. I'm hungry, but I can't eat. My toaster is broken. So as you can see, these are all little jobs coming in at the moment. But yeah, you do get jobs where you go to people's houses. I have done a video on this before, so... If I can find it, I'll link it above for you guys to check it out. But that's been Electrician Simulator, a nice little game. It's pretty cool, quite cheap uh, on the Xbox Store. In fact, shall we have a look to see how much it is? So there you go, guys. Electrician Simulator is £15.49, so it's cheap as chips. Not a bad little game uh, here on the Xbox. Not entirely sure if it's available on the PlayStation, because you know how it is. Sometimes games are available on the PlayStation and games are available on the xbox and vice versa they are available on each each uh, console um but yeah i've really enjoyed that i hope you have as well if you have enjoyed it please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when i go live and new content drops onto the channel but once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the next one goodbye